tonight we are visiting the Kent Island Farmers Market, which is located just off of Route 8 at Christ Church. It is open Thursdays, 3.30 to 6.30. Could you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about the Kent Island Farmers Market? Sure, I'd be glad to. Uh, my name is Diane Bedlin. I started and I run the, the, the market. Um, it's uh, year-round, which is very unusual. Um, but um, all of my vendors except for one are, are, are year-round. We have, you know, vegetables, um, meat, cheese, milk, eggs, uh, you know, fish, I mean, you, you, you name it. I, I like to say uh, I could keep people out of the supermarkets if we could just had toilet paper. <laughs> we, um, we do accept uh, uh, credit cards, which is really nice. We also encourage people because we know, like, people who commute, 3.30 to 6.30 is a little tough, um, but we do en encourage pre-orders. Um, uh, oh, and if they want to sign up for the newsletter, if they don't do social media and they want to sign up for the newsletter, they just have to um, email me at dianebedlin at gmail.com. It's kind of D-I-A-N-E-B-E-D-L-I-N at gmail.com. Can you tell us a little bit about your business and what a pierogi is if someone doesn't know? Sure. A pierogi is a Polish dumpling. It's um, it's a little bit like a ravioli, but it's in a it's a, a semicircle and it's filled with different things. Traditionally, they're filled with potato, cheese, onion, sauerkraut, um, cabbage, those sort of uh, rustic farmers things. Um, I grew up making them with my grandmother, like a lot of people did, um, make them with their Polish grandmother. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, as when I became an adult, I became a chef. And after I started having babies, I realized that working in restaurants and having babies don't mix. So I thought I would develop a product that I can make nine to five. And uh, this seemed to fit the bill. And if people want to find out more about your product, where can they find that? Rogueperogies.com, R-O-G-U-E-P-I-E-R-O-G-I-E-S.com. Uh, that's the web page, but the best place to get in touch with me and keep up to date is on Facebook. Just find Rogue Pierogies on Facebook. Could you tell us a little bit about your business and the kind of products that you sell? Yes, uh, I import extra virgin unfiltered olive oil from my family's farm in southern Greece near Sparta. Uh, we've been importing it for the last 10 years and we've been doing farmers markets for the last 8 years. And then we also import our amazing olives and uh, balsamic vinegars. We make our own tapenade and uh, all the olive mixes are made in our commercial kitchen in Baltimore. Could you tell us the name of your farm and the kind of products you sell? Sure. It's uh, Black Bottom Farms in Galena, Maryland, and we sell pasture-raised heritage pork is our primary product. We also do some pasture-raised veal, turkeys, chicken. Um, we have laying hens for fresh eggs, and we do grow mushrooms in season. And how can people find out more about it? Do you have a Facebook page? We have a Facebook page, Black Bottom Farms, um, or you could link to the Kent Island Farmers Market and, and find a link there. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your business and the kind of products that you sell? Uh, yeah, I have a farm up in Sellersville, and we grow about 300 acres of wheat a year, and we put our, bread, our wheat in our breads. Um, we also make Maryland Beaten Biscuits, and I'm pretty sure I'm the last little old lady on the Eastern Shore making Beaten Biscuits because my phone rings, and people come up my lane, and we put a sign out here on the road, and people stop in to get them, but I just wanted people in Queen Anne's County to know that they are still available at Kent Island Farmer's Market every week. Could you tell us about your farm and what kind of products you bring here to the farmer's market? Yes, uh, my name is Vic Priapi and my wife Mary and I own and operate Priapi Gardens, which is an organic garden center uh, and organic vegetable farm in Cecilton, Maryland. We're right on Route 213, just north of Chestertown, about 20 minutes. And we're uh, 10 acres. We primarily are a garden center, but we also have this whole assortment of organic vegetables that we sell at uh, different farmers markets as well as our, our own on-farm uh, garden market. And if someone wanted to learn more about your farm, do you have a Facebook page or a website? Yep, we've got a website and it's uh, just preappygardens.com and we're open uh, 12 months a year. This time of the year we're Monday through Saturday, 8 to 5, and we'd love folks to come take a tour, wander our, our grounds. We have a lot going on all year long. Could you tell us the name of your business, the kind of products you sell, and why people buy it? Uh, Fresh Harvest Hydroponics. I sell hydroponic lettuces, I sell herbs, I sell sprouts, uh, wheatgrass, um, colloidal, silver, um, and people buy it because they know it's healthy. Um, instead of buying plants from depleted soil, they know that our nutrients are maintained on a daily basis, so you know that you're getting the full complement that you're supposed to get when you eat it. 
could you tell us a little bit about why you like coming to the Ken Island Farmers Market? Absolutely. This is actually a passion of mine. I love it here. Um, the quality of the food is incredible, and I have a lot of small children and just learning more about where our food comes from and even the soil that it's grown in and the way that the animals are treated um, is such a big deal when you have people who are depending on you for their health and their safety. And um, so I, I love the passion that all the farmers and vendors have here as well. They're not in it for the money, they're in it because they believe in the product that they carry and, and you can taste it in the food. The meat is so much more flavorful. flavorful. The eggs are rich. My kids will eat so much more if they've picked it out here and met the farmer versus if we go to the store and I just throw it in the cart. So I, I leave this place energized and excited about what I'm going to prepare for our family versus leaving a grocery store really just drained that I, that I made it through and not sure where everything came from, so I am thrilled to be here. I'm thrilled they're here, um, and we just it's one of the highlights of our week. We love to come. Could you tell us a little bit about your business and what kind of things you make? Oh, well, this is our first year. We've actually started the business, and it's a family-oriented business. We've put it together ourselves. Um, so we go around to local uh, farmer's markets, uh, sporting events, uh, weddings, uh, birthday parties, anything, etc. We try to cater to everybody. Um, since it's a family oriented, we try to just work with it, everybody in whatever events they want to do. Uh, we're reasonably priced. Uh, we make uh, probably about 16 different flavors of kettle corn from traditional to our signature flavor of uh, salty and sweet. Um, and just basically, you know, we're just out trying to promote ourselves because we're new to the state of Maryland and we like to uh, try to get in more events and get involved with communities. Um, we actually do uh, donations for different uh, events, people that are holding Special Olympics and stuff like that. We've actually done gift baskets and stuff like that so forth to help people out. Thank you so much for having us to the Ken Island Farmers Market. And do you guys have any special holiday hours? Oh, actually we do. Uh, the week of Christmas, um, instead of Thursday, we're open, open Tuesday, the 22nd, same time, 3.30 to 6.30. And then as a present to the um, hardworking vendors here um, who provide Queen Anne's County with 51 weeks a lot of weeks of really beautiful food. We're taking off for the week of um, New Year's, but we'll be back the first, the first Thursday in January. Uh -huh.